Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, we're gonna be doing part three of my eyeshadow palette declutter series. This is gonna be the final part, so we're gonna be going through the rest of my palettes. We're also gonna be going over the palettes that I put in the maybe pile, so I hope you guys are all excited about today's video. If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, make sure you guys check out part one and part two of my eyeshadow palette declutter series if you guys have not seen those videos already. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of nice palettes on the table right now. I'm probably going to be keeping most of these, so I'm going to go ahead and preface it with saying that because I did put a lot of these that I really like on the table for the first part of the video. So first up, we have the new ColourPop Just a Glitch palette. This is part of their like 1999 collection, I believe is what they called it. And I literally just got this. I have not even touched it yet. I actually really like the color story. I think this is a super cute palette. I haven't used it, so I am going to be keeping this one. As you guys know, I am keeping like all of my ColourPop palettes because I do want to do a ColourPop palette ranking video. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, let me know in the comments down below. Then we have three of the new ColourPop Zodiac palettes. First up, we have the Taurus palette. I have only used one of these. Then we have the Capricorn palette and the Virgo palette, which this is the one that I used and I really liked it. I haven't used these other two palettes, so I am going to be keeping all three of these. Then we have the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. Also going to be keeping this palette. As I said, I am keeping all of my my ColourPop palette. This one is a beautiful palette that has really good shades for like daytime looks and nighttime looks. There's like a warm side and a more like pinky cool side. This is a really good palette. They do sell it at Ulta. I do have a review video on this. So if you guys want to see that, I have swatches of all of the shades. Just go back a few videos. And I did do that review pretty recently. Next up, I have this Buxom palette. This is the Ash K Home palette. They did send this to me in PR. I have not used this palette yet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. It does look like a really pretty palette. They also sent me their Tiki Bar palette, which I haven't used, but I have swatched. This has eyeshadow shades and then like a highlight and blush. I really like the blush and the highlight. The eyeshadow shades are not my favorite, but for now I am going to keep this one. I think I could see myself getting rid of this one in the future though. Then we have the Buxom Extrovert palette. This is not like my favorite palette. I feel like the quality of these shades is not the best. I do really like the shade Crazy Rich though. It is a really pretty gold. I am going to keep this for now. As I said, I'm keeping most of the palettes that are on the table right now, but this is one that I could also see myself getting rid of in the future. I'm going to start kind of going through some of these pretty quickly because I am keeping them and I'm sure you guys really want to see which ones I'm getting rid of. So also keeping the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. There is no way I could get rid of this. I love this palette and this is like a collector's item. Then we have Menage a Moi by ColourPop, one of my favorite palettes of theirs. This is such a beautiful like mauve pink palette. I'm obsessed with this one. So yeah, you guys know I have to keep it. Then we have the ColourPop Flutter by palette. This one is also a really gorgeous palette. I love this color story and I love how some of these shades are like perfect for every day in the crease like these shades right here. These shimmery shades in this palette are beautiful. So yeah, I love this one and obviously keeping it. Then we have the Natasha Denona Glam palette. This is literally one of my favorite palettes. I use this every single day. As you can see, I'm about to hit pan on this shade right here. It's like the perfect crease shade. I have to keep this. Obviously, it's probably my favorite palette or one of my favorite palettes. So yeah, yeah, definitely could not get rid of this one. Then we have the new ColourPop Tinkerbell palette. I literally just got this in the mail. I did a film an Instagram video with this palette. So if you guys don't follow me on there, make sure to follow me there so you don't miss out on that tutorial. But I actually really like this palette. So yeah, I am going to be keeping this one as well. Next up, we have this CoverGirl Full Spectrum palette. This is the Posh palette, which is like a mauve palette. I did enjoy this palette for a while, but I have not been reaching for it. So this is the first one I am going to be decluttering in today's video. Next up, I have these two Elf bite sized palettes. These are really good. These were pretty cheap. If these weren't so cheap, I probably would get rid of them. They are amazing quality, but these small size just kind of bothers me in my makeup drawers. I feel like they kind of get lost back there. But yeah, these are really good quality for the price. I think they're only like $3 each. So for now, I am going to keep them. Once again, I'm going to start going through these pretty quickly because I am going to be keeping a bunch of these. Sorry about that. I put them all on the table that I'm going to be keeping as I've said like 5 million times. But yeah, this is the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. Literally like the best ColourPop palette ever. 
ever. It is like the perfect everyday palette. It has warm tone shades, some neutral shades, some pinky shades. I am obsessed with this palette. I feel like I need to buy a backup of this one. Then we have Stone Cold Fox, which is like the cool toned palette, just like the last one. As you guys can see, I use this palette a lot. I'm obsessed with this one. This is like perfect for every day. It has rosy shades, like smoky shades, neutral shades, cool tone shades. Love this palette. So yeah, obviously keeping this one as well. Next, I have like this little buxom, I don't even know what to call this, cheetah palette. Dolly's Wild Side palette is what it's called. Man, I used to use this palette every single day. Love these shades. This is like the perfect pinky mauve palette. I'm not even sure if they make this palette anymore, but I cannot get rid of this. I used to be obsessed with this, so I am going to be keeping it. Next, we have the BH Cosmetics Thousands Remix Dance palette. I have a review on all of the Remix Dance palettes. I love this one, so I am keeping it. Make sure you guys check out my reviews on all of these palettes. I have a review video for each of them. Next, we have the Too Faced The Natural Nudes palette. Love this palette. I use this every day. I think this is a really nice palette. They did have it on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I'm not sure if it already went on sale, but if you guys have a chance to pick it up for super cheap, I would definitely recommend it. So yeah, I have to keep this one as well. Then we have the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie palette. This is a double-sided palette. I freaking love this palette. I have a review video on this one as well. It has like a colorful side and then it also has a like side for every day. I am definitely going to be keeping this. This is like a collector's item. All right, next up is the BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year palette. This is a really great palette. Love the color story. I haven't used it in a while, but I need to reach for this again. I feel like this is a really good palette. I also have a review on this one, so I am going to be keeping it. Next is ColourPop Sandstone palette. I am going to be keeping this one, obviously. This is a really nice palette. I actually love these square pans in this palette. I'm not sure if ColourPop has any other palettes with square pans, but I really like the way that this one looks. Next up, we have this Makeup Forever palette, which is from years ago. I actually haven't used this in quite a long time, but I used to freaking love this palette. It has all matte shades and the quality of these is amazing. So I am going to go ahead and keep this one. Next we have the Milani Gilded Getaway palette. First of all, the packaging of this is so cute. The quality is pretty good. The color story is not my favorite, but since this is so new to my collection, I am keeping this one as well. Then we have this ColourPop Bambi collection palette. I think I showed the other ones in my last video. And this is the flower palette. I love the color story of this one. The purple one is such a pretty palette. So yeah, you guys know I'm already keeping all my ColourPop palettes. Then we have the new ColourPop It's a Mood palette, which I just did a review video on this palette. It is such a gorgeous palette. Obviously, I am keeping this one. If you guys haven't seen my review video, make sure to go and check that out. Then we have the BH Cosmetics 80s Remix Dance Palette. This one is not my favorite out of the BH Cosmetics Remix Dance Palette. I think this is probably my least favorite. I am going to go ahead and keep this one. I thought about getting rid of it, but for now I'm going to keep it. Next we have this ColourPop Give It To Me Straight Palette. I'm not even sure if they make this anymore. I feel like this is one of my first ColourPop palettes. This is a really nice palette. Love it. So I am going to be keeping it. Then we have this new Catrice five in a box mini eyeshadow palette. I just got sent this in PR. I don't think I'm going to keep this palette. It is brand new. So I will probably put it in a giveaway. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Then we have this wet n wild rose in the air palette. I used to love this palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia modern renaissance palette. And I love this palette. So I am going to keep this one as well. I know I literally put all the palettes that I'm keeping on the table first. Then we have the last Remix Dance palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the 90s palette. I freaking love this palette. So obviously I'm keeping it. The color story of this is so beautiful. And these shades in here are really, really nice. I love the shimmery shades in this palette. Like they are stunning. Then we have the BH Cosmetics BFF palette. I do have a review video on this palette as well. I actually really love this palette. It is such a gorgeous color story and these shades are really nice. The quality is amazing. So I am going to be keeping this one. All right, you guys, I added some more palettes to the table. I promise this time we have some that I'm actually going to be getting rid of. So first up, we have this Violet Voss Essentials palette. This is a really pretty palette. I'm pretty sure I got it in a BoxyCharm or something, but I just never find myself reaching for this palette. Like, I'm pretty sure I've only swatched, like, this shade. I'm not sure if I've actually even used the palette, so I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Then we have this Pro Fusion Chestnut Eyes palette. I don't think I've used this one either. I have swatched maybe, like, one or two shades. It is a really pretty palette. It has a nice eyeshadow brush in here. Love profusion brushes, but I just never find myself reaching for this. So I am going to declutter this one as well. Then we have the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. This used to be like such a big deal. I haven't used it in a while. I thought about getting rid of this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it just because this is a really nice palette for every day. Then we have this Buxom White Russian palette. This has like eyeshadows and then two blush shades. It's not my favorite palette, but I think I'm going to keep 
keep it just for the blushes. I don't really like the eyeshadows that much, but the blush shades are beautiful. Then we have this, the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette. This is another one that has like eyeshadow and blush, bronzer, and a highlight. I am gonna keep this palette not for the eyeshadows, but for the highlight, blush, and bronzer because I don't have any of the Balm products like in the big sizes of these. Like the Bahama Mama bronzer is really good and then the Mary Luminizer highlighter, which I love. So I'm only keeping this palette for those. Next, I have this Illamasqua palette that I have not even opened yet. All right, well, this feels heavy and nice. Love the packaging. I don't think I've ever tried their eyeshadows. Ooh. Okay, this looks like a really good palette for every day. I think I got this like in a boxy charm or something. So I think I'm actually gonna keep this and try it out. Then I have three Pixie eyeshadow palettes. I am not the biggest fan of Pixie eyeshadows. We have the Natural Beauty palette. Then we have the Reflex Light palette and the Double Tap palette. I never use these, so I'm gonna get rid of all three of these. Then I have these three Decca Scarlet palettes. These all have like a top section with like some eyeshadows, blush, highlight, and then the bottom has like lipsticks. Oh my gosh, this one is all <laughs> messed up. I actually like never use these anymore. Like they're not bad. I just never find myself reaching for these. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three of these because I literally never use them. Next I have this Morphe palette. This is the Artistry palette 15T. I think I've used this like literally one time. I don't like this color story, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Then I have this Ofra Pro palette, which I believe is like an all matte palette. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this color story either. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one because I literally never use it. Then we have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, which is probably one of my favorite palettes of all time. Obviously, I'm gonna be keeping this. Uh, as you guys can see, I've hit pan on a lot of shades. Love this palette, so definitely could not get rid of this one. Then I have these two big Profusion palettes. I actually really love these. The Mirage palette is stunning. And then we have the Festival palette, which is a beautiful, colorful palette. So I love these. I'm gonna keep both of them. Then I have the Morphe and James Charlie. Charles palette. I never really reach for this anymore, to be honest. I used to use this a lot. I just never find myself reaching for this anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And it takes up a lot of space in my collection. All right, you guys, so we are down to my last round of palettes. I literally cannot believe we just made it through this entire eyeshadow palette declutter series. I feel like that took forever. So these are the last palettes we're gonna go through. First up, we have this Pop Beauty Light Show palette. I wasn't the biggest fan of their other palette I had. This one is brand new, like in the box still. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one and put it in a giveaway. Then we have another CoverGirl Full Spectrum palette. This one is the Zodiac palette, which is like a colorful palette. I never use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Then I have another Morphe palette. This is the 15H palette, which is actually a really pretty warm toned palette. Even though this is really pretty, I just never ever use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. Then I have the 15S palette from Morphe. This one is also a really pretty color story, but I never use this one either, so I am gonna get rid of this one as well. Then I have this Ofra and Francesca Tolot or something like that palette. I don't really like this color story. I just never use this palette, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then we have the Alter Ego Temptress palette, which I believe is a dupe for the ABH Sultry, maybe. I love this palette, so I am gonna be keeping it. Then I have this L'Oreal La Palette Nude Intense, which I got a long time ago. This is a pretty expensive palette for the drugstore, and I feel like the quality is not the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Then we have the Elf Retro Paradise palette. I actually really liked this palette. I did do a review video on this palette. I thought this was a really fun palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Then we have the Elf and Jay Kissa palette. I don't know how I feel about this palette. I feel like sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't like it. Like, I feel like the quality is not the best. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because I don't really need another rainbow palette in my collection and I just never really use this anymore. Then I have another Makeup Forever palette that was from like a long time ago. You cannot even get this anymore. This is an all shimmer palette, I believe. This has some really nice shades in it, so I can't get this anymore. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because it was pretty expensive. Then we have the Alter Ego Daydream palette, which I believe is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. Mine is such a mess, wow. I I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I already have the new nude palette, so I don't need this. Then we have this Laura Mercier palette. This was from like their holiday collection last year. It has eyeshadows and blushes and highlights and all sorts of stuff. I wasn't a huge fan of the quality of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Then we have this Pixie palette. This is the Pixie and Tina Young palette, I believe is how you say it. Um, I did get this in PR and I have not even opened it yet, but I don't know, I just don't see myself really using this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it and I'll just put it in a giveaway for you guys 
or something. Then we have the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. Mine is looking rough. This palette has gone through a lot, as you guys can tell, but this is an amazing palette. I don't even know what color was here anymore. Oh my gosh. Um, I love this palette, so I am going to keep it. Next, we have another Alter Ego palette. This is the Aurora palette, and I believe this was a dupe for like a Natasha Denona palette. I'm not sure which one, but this is a really fun color story, so I'm going to keep this one. Then we have the Goddess palette. And I believe this is another one that is a dupe for a Natasha Denona palette. And I don't have any of those palettes, so I'm going to be keeping this one as well. This one has a beautiful color story. Then we have the Sahara palette. I was about to try and guess which Natasha Denona palette this is from, but I honestly don't know. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping this one as well. Then I have this Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. And I use this palette all the time, actually. This is from a long time ago, but I love this palette. So I am going to be keeping this. Then we have this Bad Habit Athena palette which was a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this because I already have the Desert Dusk palette and I don't need this one as well, so I am going to be decluttering this. All right, you guys, so here are the palettes that were in my maybe pile that we're going to go ahead and go through. So first we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I'm having a hard time getting rid of this, um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Then I have this Storybook Cosmetics palette, which I never really use. I just, like, love the packaging. That's why I'm so torn on what to do because I think this is such a cute palette. I don't know if I can get rid of this. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it just for the packaging. Oh my gosh, here I am trying to keep all my palettes. I just think this packaging is so cute and I want to keep it. So yeah, I was about to get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it. All right, next up we have this Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. This was a limited edition palette from years ago. I never use this palette. I'm tempted to keep it just because it was limited edition, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this One Size by Patrick Star palette, or I don't know what this is, the Visionary palette. I don't know. I don't really like this palette. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have my Z palette that I talked about getting rid of, but I'm going to keep it. It has a bunch of MAC and Makeup Geek shadows in here so I'm just gonna keep this. All right, you guys, so I laid out all of the palettes that I'm decluttering. You literally cannot even see them all. There are 26 palettes that I decluttered in today's video, so I'm actually really happy with that number. So yeah, that completes my eyeshadow palette declutter series. I got rid of so many eyeshadow palettes. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I got rid of a ton of them. If you guys haven't seen part one and part two, make sure to go ahead and go watch those. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this declutter. If there are any other declutters that you guys wanna see, just let me know in the comments down below. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, make sure you have your notifications turned on. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button. And then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.